Guys, poker is so hard. Like, it's never easy. Like, you never stop learning. Like, I still going over reshoving ranges, 20 big blinds, which is super important late in tournaments. I've been crushing lately. Um, that's why I'm kind of trying to help people. It's like, I've been just cruising through, like, getting in the final tables and, um, yeah, just don't, I study too much, guys. But I think some of the poker coaching sites I've used them, Upswing and uh, PokerCoaching.com is really good. But also, like they don't teach you how to like kind of hand read and go through like a hand. So I think we should go th through this like a forty big blind pot. It's a three bet pot. All right, hijack. So who, who was the three better? I was from the button. So I three bet the hijack with ace jack offsuit, which makes sense. You know, I wouldn't have ace jack suited. You shouldn't three bet that. You can, but they, they make good calls. That's why they're not like king queen. These are all just, they're called. So like if you are going to three bet, you want to three bet like your worst offsuit hands in a way. Like king jack, like sliver, king jack, queen jack more. Uh, you get the point. Like a lot of offsuit hands, you're going to be three betting. And some of these, like I always say, king nine, king eight, queen, these middling hands that can make straights and flushes, they're, they're, they make good for uh, three bets as well. Sliver of like ace fives and ace two, stuff like that. And well, look at the hijack range. He's got a lot of hands he's going to be calling with. Um, Obviously, these probably going to be four bet. Sometimes aces will be called. So it's just fun. You guys should use this. Go through these ranges. Should I bet here? Um, you know, do I have like 8x? Do I even have 8x in my range? Like a sliver. Like ace. No, I got some eights. I do. Um, I would bet. Just we're in position and we have the jack. The question is, do we continue betting Does that help him or have me more? And the three bet pot at nine probably connects with like a 10. Like I always say suited tens. I'm going to continue blasting. And uh, now, now we fold. Okay, perfect. Pocket eights. He had pocket. He had a set. So cool. Maybe I'll mark that for review. Go over that one. So now we'll do single raise pot. It's just a single Broadway board, you know, not connected, nothing. It's just like a very simple board. Um, I would check. I'd check my whole range here. Um, I think we could check Call of the Ace 10. So what is he betting? He, uh, single raised pot. He has some, like, he has... Eight nine, maybe he's got six seven suited. He's got you know a seven king seven suited. He's got a lot of jacks, like tons of jacks, right? Like ace jack, king jack, queen jack, ace jack, off suit, king jack, off suit. Um, yeah, like ten nine suited. He's got a lot of hands. That's already got there, actually. Nine ten nine's already there. We have the blocker. It's just good to like start going through those hands. Like, what does he have, and what is he betting? Like, so he bet right to me. So if he bets again, all right, he doesn't have a jack, and he doesn't have nine ten. The question is, do we bluff on a six at the end? I I honestly don't think so. I I think we just check. No, we don't. I lied. I lied, guys. They do want you to bet big. I'll go over it again because it kind of makes sense, I guess. Because just a small bet. Let's just do a simplified small bet, range bet. You know, everybody likes to see bet, especially in the low stakes, like micro stakes. So is it? And then normally when they do check the turn, especially like that means they're capped. They don't have much. You no, know, you should take a shot. Yes, I don't know why we screwed that up, but yeah, yeah ace five, and you just gave up. Makes sense. Of course, we're going to get stuff wrong. If we don't get stuff wrong, then we're not learning and playing. 40 big blind pot, single raised pot. People have problems with these, you know, paired boards. Like, like this, 5-5-10. Five, five, like, because think of our range, low jack. I have ace-five, I'm thinking. Pocket fives. Um, 
I don't think we open five forces in front of the low jack, do we? Yeah, maybe some sorry. No. I mean six five like a sliver. We do have some suited connectors, but I mean in ten X we yeah, we have a bunch of ten X. I guess we do actually bet here, right? I think people get nervous. I think we just bet small. Just kidding. That's a big bet. I would continue blasting then. And then check. Hopefully, fucking we we butchered that here, dude. Wow. So they it just I'm again like on this type of board against button low jack forty big blinds they want big bet. But that means, like, when he's calling, he's not, he's, he's calling with a five or a ten, pocket nines, pocket eights, pocket sevens, jacks with a three bet, right? I mean, I still think this was right. We're going to continue. We have such a heavy draw. And, oh, yeah, dude, we didn't even see that. Boom, boom, three, five. See, I was going too quick. Holy shit. Yeah, we would check. And now we'd be putting a funky spot. I mean, he's either saying, I mean, damn, you got a 10 or a king, right? He's either, he either got it or he doesn't have it. And we have a flush. And he's betting, like, are we good, like, look, one out of three and a half times here? I think the way it was played, hold on, turn. Bet called. Oh man, I think it's a fold. Yeah, what do you have? King Queen. Okay, he had it, but it's just you gotta get rid of those like paired board. I didn't know it was paired, and we screwed that up. They gave us a same type of board, single Broadway, a six. We we have like no equity, so I think we should take a stab. And uh, it's pretty. What would he be raising here? I should call just to find out, but I mean, big blind could have any guy, but any three, any any three, you know, three four suited, five three suited, fucking so, so many threes, okay. And any decent queen is probably gonna uh, three bet uh, check raise and diamonds with you know five six, um, you know stuff like that and. Obviously, we just can't continue. I mean, maybe if uh, that queen was a club and we had this, maybe we could continue with the back door. But without that, we have no equity. We're just going to go. We had 5-3, so he did have a 3. Told you he was loaded with 3s, guys. I hope this stuff helps. It's really, if you really use this and like really try, you'll get way better at poker. 40 big line, single raise pot. Look at this every time. Single raise pot, so button has huge range, right? Button has, I, I, I just think of the chart, and this is huge, you know? What do I always say? Um, off suit eight, suited fives are the bottom of the range, so got a bunch of 10x, and with single raise. We have trips. Do we bet? I think we, no, we do bet. Well, just go for value right away. Okay, so if it's gonna be like that, then we're just gonna go straight for value. He has ace. He has ace. Ace X, ace five. Yeah, I mean, okay, makes sense. I don't, I don't mind getting it wrong. I, so they just want. I I was thinking maybe a check raise, but um, I guess they just want you to do a big bet right away, which makes sense. It's a double Broadway board. We're in the low jack. Uh, that hits our range really hard. So it actually does make sense. Sometimes, see, this is why, like, I'm telling you guys, you guys got to, like, focus and really put your energy in this because even I do slip up. I just slipped up right there. So, yeah, we're going to double. We're just going to keep barreling, thinking I, he has ace X, right? It's the only thing he's calling with. He may possibly uh, a flush draw, but in a way, we block it. We have a king of hearts blocker, so it's kind of hard for him to have, like, flushes. Like, what would he have? Maybe, you know, queen jack. But I don't I don't think so. I mean, does he have? Yeah, he does have queen jack suited. So, um, shit, now I forgot. Did we, I don't even remember what I did. I just jam. See, my brain gets scattered sometimes. All right, king five. 100. 100 big blind pot 
and three three bet. Yeah, he's betting big. I think this is just a oh wait, no, god damn. I don't think we can fold yet, dude, because we got the back door, the overcard, and we have a pair. It's not you don't love calling in these situations. And I see a lot of people here like just jam and it's just why. I mean definitely he, he's loaded with nine. He has so much nine X, right? I thought he did like nine eight, nine seven, nine six, nine five. Yeah, he, and then Jack nine, ten. There's a lot of nines he has. The big blind, and he's betting. So, and he three bet. Um, so he is going to three bet some of his shitty hands like that, and then some really, really good value hands to stay balanced. I mean, you should have, when you're betting, you should have like two thirds of your stuff's value, one third bluffs. Okay, so like six value hands and like. Two to three blocks. Always, always. Uh, I think we just, again, check call this hand. See what happens. On the river, we hit a king. Kind of puts us in a really weird spot because we block. You know what I mean? Like pocket fives. And uh, king, he's guy fired three times in a row. So, I mean, it really seems like he has a nine. I don't think we can fold, though. We're getting three to one odds. So, like, am I good one out, one out of four times? Am I good here? I don't know. Probably, right? One out of, it's one out of four times? I think we call. He had nine, six. So, I mean, I'm reading it correctly, like, right? Like, right on, dude. I told you I had so much nines, and I'm pretty much betting into a nine. But I said we had to call. This is what GTO likes. I do a few more that I'm done, but uh, yeah, this is what you need to do to get better. Here, forty big blind, big blind pot, single race pot. You always need to just think about don't don't care about your cards. Don't even care about your cards. Think about what they're doing. Like, all right, he's betting here, and honestly, yeah, it's helping. Like, he's basically saying he has pocket tens, jacks, queens, um, stuff like that, right? I mean, ace nine. King nine suited. You could have um, Jack ten suited. I'm thinking all these hands that he could have that would be betting Queen Jack suited, King Jack. He has a lot, I, I, but we're not. I don't think we could check. We don't want to check raise here. I don't think, but we could check call because we just picked up some equity. It's another small bet in a way, so I don't think he. I think it's it is nine x. I think he's I say ace nine, but I block it a little bit. But now here I'm wondering, could you jam? I don't think you need to. I think you even have showdown value. Um. Oh man, I thought you could have done it. Ten ten nine though. God, I'm good at that. I thought maybe we could throw the buff in, but he had 10-9, so all these hands just hijack. Hijack has more than the low jack. Hijack opens more. Um, this is just a oh, three-bit pot, and on the initial, we have an ace, right? Do we big bet? I think we could just small bet once. Yep, okay, that's it. He had 6-5 suited. Nothing else to talk about. Ace-9. 40 big blind pot button versus low jack. Um, do we bet on a nine? I think this is a pure check board, right? Let me check. No, the question is, do we check raise or check call? I think the check call is fine. Don't lead. All right, check, check. Really not the greatest river. I don't know if you do a block bet or, um, a lot of draws missed, so... The question is, like, will he turn his hand into a bluff? Or do we just lower her value now? Blocker bet. All right, it worked. What did he have? Pocket fours. Okay. On that board, it's very scary. Pocket fours. Two more hands. King, queen, 40 big blind. Uh, and we hit our king. So, oh, he was a three better. But we just obviously check it to him. He did not bet. So I don't think he has ace queen. I don't think he has kings. I don't think he has aces. He would have bet because there's a flush. 
on the board. So I don't know if we should check or just go for value. I think we bet, right? Yes. Hit ace 10 offsuit. Uh, that's in his range. And yeah, got to bet big on the turn. Don't bet small. Always size up on the turn. Uh, what do I talk about here? Just don't be, don't, just play it, dude. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't do anything here. You have the nuts. Unless, I, I mean, unless he has, um, what you might call it, six, seven of clubs or, you know what I mean? King, queen. I mean, uh, king, ten. I'm sorry, just king, ten. I mean, two hands. So I think we just call. A bit small. Damn, we didn't get him. But you guys got to do that little trickery. So, like, we bet. Check raised. We called. I like doing this. I don't know. He's getting huge odds, but he didn't want to call. Oh, we'll get five in a row. We'll be done. Buttons range. 30 big blinds. A little bit different. Every time, like, 30 big blinds is different than 50 big blinds. The hands are a little different that they open. Like, that range. Look at that button's range. It's huge, right? Um, I always like to think of leads on, like, the big blind. But I think like, it would be better, like, 3, 6, 5 or something like that. Then I think we could lead. Not on, like, 6, 6, 9. I mean, he's because he still has a bunch of 9, 9x. And he even has like a lot of not a lot of six, but, but he does have yeah he does have a lot of six x. Look at that, a six uh, king six just loaded loaded. And you just check and uh, the question is like do we, you just fold this? You don't even five in a row guys a six suited t a six suited. You'll get good at hand reading guys if you do this. So we have a good. Uh, Candidate for check raise, just single raise pot, 30 big blinds. Uh, you want to play this aggressive, I think. I wish we had a spade in a way, like 10 spades, but we don't. So that's kind of why our hand's more vulnerable. So I would be more aggressive with it than a check call because a check call is just going to. Oh, they don't. They really do want to check. Wow. I guess. I think it's a, if we had a spade, it would have been different. But now. Now we got to go for a bluff, and uh, I just think he's, I don't know, man, ace-queen, king-queen, queen-jack, queen-ten, close. Ah, guys, I like this stuff. Okay, single raise, pot, big blind. We bet. You could bet. Yeah, I think that's fine. No, they want bigger bet. Why would they do a bigger bet? Because they have the jack clubs? I guess. You'll get this stuff, guys. It's like again, there if big um, these three bet pots out of position, they can be tricky. You know, like that's why it's like I always try to tell people like know your ranges. Like it's always better to have a suited hand out of position, but sometimes you know you know it's not always going to happen. Sometimes you're going to have to play hands that make you uncomfortable. So. um I still don't see any reason to bet. I still think we have a, a you know, showdown value. Um, I, I just, no betting yet. He's betting small. I mean, what, what, that six, what did that six do? I mean, seven, nine got there, but he doesn't have seven, nine. He three bet. I mean, he has a sliver of it. He does. He has a sliver of 9-7. Um, Jack 8. Yeah, I mean, what are we calling, though? We're just calling with ace high. I, I mean, I think we just fold. <laughs> yeah. And he had 9-7. Wow, he did have 9-7, bro. Look at that. Oh, that's funny. I looked it up in the range. I'm like, he does have a sliver of it. And he did right there. All right, guys. Hey, no one's going to hit the like button. No one's going to like this. That's all right. I just do this for fun. Um, cut off. Open 50 big blind pot. Like saying he's got like pocket tens. Or uh, 
I don't know, man. What else could he have? Let's see. Bluffs, 10-8 suited. Um, something like 9-5, 6-7, 8-9 suited, 10-9 suited, Jack-9, Queen-9. Oh, you got so many hands. I think we got... No. I'm sorry. I hate pocket twos. I forgot it was pocket twos. <laughs> I got to stop playing. This, this right here, 40 big blind pot button... I think this is a perfect check raise if it happens, but it didn't happen. Okay, now I think we go for value and from any, yeah, over cards that want to continue, um, you know, pocket pairs and little suited connectors. This here is a pretty, honestly, can we lead here? I'm going to try. Can, can, do we, can we build a leading range? Because I just said this board texture, right? That's a good leading texture. The only thing now is like we really are dead to a ace, but I th th damn, I'm right. All right, sorry guys, I can't get everything right. But he didn't bet, right? All right, I would bet. Fuck GTL. Oh god, I would call this. And he did have an ace. All right, well we go on wrong too, so we have to we have to rebalance. We have to get some wrong, right, guys? I don't know. I love these uh, situations, you know. Three bet pot button. Button could have so much shit, dude. Oh wait, where's the three better? And we have an ace six five board. Do we bet? We don't have to, right? We have we have a good solid hand heads up. I mean, I don't think this guy has. Uh, well, does he have jacks? Yeah, I think I was gonna say probably four bet, right? Jacks, queens, kings, or oh, jacks. He does have some. I was going to say, hold on now, sir. Out of position, can we just range bet, I guess? And just, that's great. That's, that's what you'd love to see when you have pocket tens. I mean, you got the ace, you got the king. I think we just, I know it's probably better for our range with a three better, but we, what are we supposed to do? Now this is the game of chicken, you know what I mean? If I check and he bets, it's hard. If I bet and he calls and then he just calls with a king or an ace, it's really simple for him. So, all right, perfect, guys, perfect. You had eight, eight, six suited. You got to be careful about these little suited gappers, suited connectors. I see it all the time. So you hit our set, 40 big blind pot. How do we play it? Obviously, we're going to check, and we're not going to be nervous too bad. I know people freak out when they see flush draws and straight draws. And they... All right, unfortunately, he didn't do nothing. Can we get, can we get something off him? Okay, all right. Like I don't know if it's better to check and let him fucking go after it. Because yeah, I'm calling pretty much everything. I mean, if he has a flush, then he has a flush. I'm not, you know what I mean? It's just, I think we check. Fuck. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, king, queen. All right, guys. Maybe my coaching sucks. 40 big line plot. He's got... Ace King, um, you know, he's got all these hands. He's got pocket jacks. Right? Am I am I crazy? He's got a lot of those high card hands. Usually you bet bigger on a double Broadway board though when you like do this. So the small bet kind of telling me maybe he's just betting to bet. But yeah, he's got a bunch of strong hands here. So I don't know if he check raise here. I think so. Okay, he calls though. So he has diamonds. Ace ten. Um, obviously, you have a king. I get. I think a jack. Ace jack would continue. Ace jack. Spades. We had to have back door. Um, I don't know if we continue betting or do we check? Because we are. We do lose to jacks and we do lose to ace king. I think we check. Diamonds do come in. Blocker bet. Uh, do we shove or do we, this is the, this is where you got to learn poker because it's value. Everything's about value. You don't want to miss value. I mean, and then you should always think to yourself like, all right, like what, what is he doing this with? You know, like fucking, would he do this with a five? No. Would he, you know what I mean? Would he do this with a seven? No. Would he bet with a king? Yes. I guess you would bet, maybe bet with a jack. If you had ace jack, of, uh, you probably maybe block bet. So I don't know. I guess we just call. Oh man, was it supposed to be a shove? He had Queen Ten. Was it supposed to be a shove? I'm done, guys. Maybe I'm not the best coach. I'm sorry. So we check raised. 
And what did we do here? We checked it back to him. And then he bet. And maybe we are. No, it's not a jam. So we screwed up on the turn. All right, guys. I think that's it, man. I can't do it. A 7 5 and a single raise pot, 50 big blinds. Uh, it's not really connected at all. So any like suited connectors i'm not really worried about he has but he does have a lot of sevens and queens if i'm not not a lot i mean well he has i thought he'd have king seven eight seven i'm sorry nine seven eight seven seven six and then of course he has queen x we have i mean we can't go anywhere you're going to check call this because we have uh, a pair and it's hard to make a pair i don't know now though do we are we betting value for a seven right now? Or are we checking? Can we go for thin value right here? Whoa. What did we check raise here? Like a set of sixes? I like that six. Uh, maybe seven six suited. You know what I mean? He did have a... Very hard though because I have a seven as well. It would be like... Gosh, I, I almost I would fold here, but maybe I should just call and see what this guy has. Let's see what he's check raising with. Guys, take a minute. Tell me what you think he's check raising with. Ace Queen, he just delayed and didn't do nothing and now he's betting. Um I swear that was pocket sixes or something. We're gonna call we're not you know what I mean? We wouldn't normally do this. Oh, it won't let me. It won't let me. Oh but oh it'll show me. I'm so stupid, guys. I gotta stop. Let's see. Eight seven. What a that's, that's so good. That's such a sick raise, dude. Because he turned his fucking pair into a bluff because he had showdown value, but he said, "You know what? I got so much equity too with this flush draw that I'm gonna put maximum pressure on me." That was good. Ah, that was a good session, guys. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you did, I will make a better session. But I think this stuff will help. Honestly, be good. Crush.